A mother could face charges for leading police on a slow speed chase with her unrestrained child in the car. The chase from Rowlett ended outside of a Rockwall daycare and that sent the center into a lockdown. Fox 4's Lynn Ann Wynn is at the Rowlett Police Department with more on this story. Lynn Ann. Steve, police say that this all started with a welfare check on a child and his mother. They say at some point during that check, the child's mother suddenly took off with her four year old son in the front seat of her SUV without a car seat or a seat belt. A welfare check for Rowlett police quickly turns into a chase and an intense scene outside a Rockwall daycare. Rowlett police say a parent called Wednesday morning asking officers to check on their 30 year old daughter who was in crisis on the 2400 block of Elmhurst Street. As police were speaking with a 30 year old woman, they say she suddenly took off. During the course of the investigation, the woman jumped into her SUV with her four year old child and she went through uh, some yards there in the neighborhood to, to evade the Rowlett police officers. Officers did see that the four-year-old was unrestrained, no seat belt, no child safety seat in the front seat as she drove away. The low-speed chase went through Garland and Rockwall with those police agencies assisting and the DPS helicopter following closely, concerned for the welfare of the young boy and his mother. Police determined the safest way to end the chase was to use tire spikes. When a spike, tire spikes are deployed, if they're effective, then the air leaks out slowly. So it's not, it doesn't cause you to lose control of the vehicle. She eventually stopped at this Rockwall daycare, which was put on lockdown. We attempted to negotiate with her with a crisis negotiator to get her to unlock the door and she would not unlock the door, she would not cooperate, and at one point she did uh, pass out. So at that point, Rowlett police officers did make forced in entry through a window, and we were able to recover the four-year-old unharmed. Police eventually were also able to get the mother out of her SUV, and the chase ended peacefully with no injuries. Police later reunited the child with his grandfather. Police say the woman is being evaluated at a hospital, but may face charges for evading arrest and endangering a child. They haven't released her identity, but police tell me that they have not had any previous calls with this family.